Tell me about your relationship with Cameron Dennis. Vague. Did you and District Attorney Cameron Dennis work closely together? He was my boss. He supervised all my cases. And were you personally close? Subjective. A judge would allow it. And yet there's not one here. Do you really think by deposing him on the stand you're going to intimidate him? I think deposing him here will let him know what it will be like if this evidence is brought forward at trial. You're not getting to trial. If your client doesn't perjure himself right now, I won't have to. Were you and Cameron Dennis close, personally? He was my mentor. It's a hard relationship to define. Moving on, counselor. All right. We don't have to talk about Mr. Dennis. Let's talk about you, Mr. Spector. In two years, you handled 18,362 cases, 36 cases a day. That's beyond impressive. Thank you. You took 147 to trial, winning them all. Don't go to trial if you're not going to win. Why'd you leave? An attorney by the name of Jessica Pearson helped me get through law school, and she felt that I could use trial experience. But I always planned on ending up at her firm and paying her back by earning that firm outrageous settlements. How am I doing? I could do better. You two think that this is a joke? Argumentative. You're damn right it's argumentative, because he knows that laws have been broken and he has an obligation to report it. Ms. Leeds. But if this is the way you want to play it, the Attorney General has given me a broad mandate to uncover what went on. And it need not be limited to Mr. Dennis. Were you part of the problem, Mr. Spector? Vague. I'll rephrase. In your capacity as Assistant District Attorney in the County of New York, did you knowingly suppress evidence in violation of the ABA Rules of Conduct, the NDAA Standards, and the New York State Bar Rule 8.4, Section C? My client would like to exercise his Fifth Amendment rights at this time. I hear you botched a settlement by negotiating against yourself. I didn't. You let Lewis know the one thing that was most important to our client. Yes, I made a mistake, but Lewis made one too. Well, he didn't mention that. Yes, he knows what our client wants, but now we know the one thing his client wants. She doesn't care about winning, Harvey. She just wants our client to lose. Okay. Well, that's good. So what's next? We lose. We give her the tabloid. Well, how does that make our client happy? We let Madison have the paper, and then we take everyone who works there, and we start a new one. They all love Kelsey. Nothing but the truth is just a name. We let Madison have it. I have taught you a thing or two. Well, I see that you're up to speed. Well, as am I. Um, I noticed there were some employee issues at the tabloid. You know, contract's about to expire. So I just want to let you guys know that I uh, went ahead and locked up all the key employees just to protect us, since we're all working on this together, right? Mm hmm Good. He knows. He can't. He does. I was careful. I deleted every file from the server. The only time any paper trail left my locked desk is when I faxed it to Kelsey. You faxed it from the large machine that stores all the information you put in it to be printed back later by anyone who has your code? He can't do that. We have a Chinese wall thingy. Oh, God, he's going to beat us, isn't he? Look, he knows what we're up to, but he couldn't keep his tactics to himself. So we can use that against him. And that's how we'll crush Lewis. Refresher course, Harvey. You and Lewis aren't opponents on this one. You're working together. Like Captain and Tennille? Well, if so, he's Tennille. Who? You need to come with me. Am I in trouble? Yeah, Harvey, you are. You gonna buy me a drink before you screw me? Sit down, Harvey. Let's know what she has to say. You got me trembling in my boots. You're a small fish, and you don't even swim in the pond anymore. But if I have to eat you alive to get to Cameron Dennis, I will. This is my case against him. Falsifying DNA tests, coerced confessions, testimony buried. You have all this? Why do you need me? Because this is circumstantial. You have the crimes, but you can't physically tie them to Cameron. He's a dirty public servant, and I think it's why you left. Your record was too good to just walk away. Maybe I got greedy. Harvey. I'm not testifying. You're being stubborn. And this isn't one where you get to make the call. I'm sorry. I've done all I can. 
It wasn't just his cases he cheated on. Hector Avila. Take a look. You think you were really that great? You think your great track record was because of your skill? I got two theories here, Harvey. Either you're wasting your time protecting a man who screwed you from the beginning, or you didn't just know he did this. You participated, in which case I'll have you disbarred. 